And tonight, it's been exactly one year since two tugboat workers and their boat sank in the Mississippi River. Keith Pigram and Inquavius Jameson worked for Wet for Marine Incorporated. The U.S. Coast Guard and other local agencies spent hours trying to find their bodies. Local 24's Annette Pegler live at Tom Lee Park tonight, where a candlelight vigil is happening for both men. Annette, what's the tone there? <laughs> Hey there, Caitlin. Well, this vigil actually just wrapped up about five minutes ago. There was a pretty large turnout to honor both of these men. Keith Pegram was actually a captain on that boat, and his stepson, Aquavius, was his deckhand. And I actually spoke to the mother exclusively tonight, and she told me that her life and the family's lives have not been the same since this tragedy. Now, Aquavius' body finally rose to shore 10 days after their boat sank in the Mississippi River. Local 24 News learned Keith Keith Pigram's body was never recovered. Now, Webford Marine paid $5,000 for each of the men's funerals. The family says their lives are broken over these deaths. I don't know what my purpose is now. I'm not saying that I don't have a purpose, but it's challenging because it's walking around with a hole in your heart and you can't feel it. And it numbs you. It numbs you to life. It numbs you, you know, and he was my be free. Now, the family is actually pursuing legal action against Webford Marine. We hope to talk to their attorneys in just a few minutes. And coming up tonight at 10, hear more from the family about how this tragedy has shaken their lives. Reporting live from Tom Lee Park, Connette Pegler, Local 24 News.